Hi guys, Hayley Swanson here, V8 Ute driver and today reporting for What Tradies Want magazine. Today we're down at the Maroolin driver training facility and we're going to be testing the new Holden VF SSV series Ute. Personally, I drive a VE Ute in the Australian V8 Ute series. There's still a lot of similarities between the VE and the VF, but there are also a few differences which are pretty cool. So to check it out, first of all, the front has had a complete overhaul. It looks pretty sweet. It's got some projector headlights. Um, it's also got the parking sensors which are on the front and the rear. Um, looking at the rear, it's basically exactly the same as the VE Ute. There's not any changes there. Under the bonnet, it's still essentially the same as the VE Ute. It's run by a 6-litre V8 engine, producing 270 kilowatts of power and 530 newton metres of torque. That's pretty friggin' quick. <laughs> the SSV has an FE2 suspension kit, which means it's nice and comfortable still on the road, but it still gives you that sporty kind of feel. It also has 19-inch alloy wheels as standard and a lot of room in the back tray there for your toys and your tools. Inside of the car is awesome. It features a five-star ANCAP safety rating with three airbags either side. It's got suede door trims, nice leather bucket seats. It's got an eight-inch screen with navigational system and reverse parking camera. It can often be hard to check your blind spots when driving a ute, but Holden have added a warning system which alerts you if there's anything in your blind spot. So guys, now that we've checked out the specs of the car, it's time to get in, take it on the track and see how it really goes. Wow, that really was an awesome car to drive. I had so much fun out there on the track. With the traction control and ESP on, it really, really dug into the corners. If the car started to slide, it would pick up for me and it would keep it on nice and straight. As soon as I turned that off though, it handled exactly like a track car and yeah, it, it was pretty hard to beat. With the utes and the braking, you have to actually brake really hard into the corner to get the weight transferred so that you can actually get it around that corner. And the brakes were unfaultable. It was perfect, handled as just as I wanted it to. And yeah, had a ball. Awesome. Good work, Holden. <laughs> <laughs>